today we will discuss how to assign material and property to anchor mesh so as we know uh, how to create how to import model inside the anchor mesh window now today we will discuss uh, how to add material and property to our elements so quickly we will generate our nodes so i will generate model I will take like this you can create a node if you are familiar with the hypermesh so you can easily create and generate the nodes now I will create one simple plate this you can create include Now, if you want to increase the element size, you can increase. If you want to remesh, just this set the elements. So here you can. Now here is a 2D mesh generated. So, so here the model tree where there are so many options to create the uh, property in the model. So here the options are like if you uh, see it in the panel area where the materials are there, properties are there, and the load collectors are there. Here also you can create. Uh, so I will create you one simple, in a simple way. Like so, right click in this area, create, go to material, your type the type of material you are using, and taking steel, steel I will enter. So after entering the steel, open this window. So if you, if you are using uh, astropic material, so you, you can use the card images, mat one. There are so many things. So if you want to use uh, composites, you would use mat data. Mat one, it has its own property. Like uh, isotropic, uh, we, we, we have to assign the Young's modulus. He is Young's modulus. Uh, for a steel, I will use. 2,10,000 newton per mm square and the new uh, poison ratio you will take 0.3 density I will use 7.8 meter per square minus 6 so if you are, it depends on your solver if I am using I am using Nastra so I will use where they will uh, I will change their weight mass conversion there that one is 0 0.01 so, uh, or else you can use in uh, uh, tons per mm square. So this is about how we can assign this material, simple isotropic material. Steel I have used, uh, mat one, Hanks modulus, give um, poison ratio and transport. After that, uh, create a property. All right, property is give the name steel steel property. So here we are using uh, 2D uh, element. So you give a card in the P shell and you assign the material to those element as a steel. So here the option is uh, thickness. If you want to give, I will give five mm thickness. And if you have a non-structural mass also you can assign <coughs> the NSN. So here it is no need. So or else you can use this non-structural mass. So in the next video we will tell you what is the non structural mass. So now we are uh, seeing only property and uh, material assignment. So we will give. Uh, if your element or uh, 3D, so you will go for P solid. Uh, P solid is the card image for the solid elements. 
may be exact you get it now for the quad elements or tri elements we go for so this is how we will assign uh, how we will create multiplying property now we will assign this property element so right click on the property go to assign choose the element and go proceed proceed so material is there steel is there so and assign this material uh, property to the component so click on the plate it will give uh, ask property choose the steel and automatically it will take material as well so now it has assigned the proper uh, material and the property to this plate so if you want to check whether the thickness is assigned or not so you can check go to panel area here it is and the option is uh, like uh, 2d detailed elements presentation you can choose so it will see look alike this is assignment this is assignment so click to back to this working position i will remove the uh, temporary notes or shift f2 you can go that's all how we assign the material to the material to the property the component if you if i say this is also done like load collector also i will tell uh, load collector create you constraint constraint input analysis constraint Choose the nodes here. You want to constrain. I'll choose all uh, four corners. So what is the 2D element? So uh, we fix in all direction. If it is 3D, or if it is only X, Y, Z, because in rotation it is not all. Uh, 3D elements have only 3 degrees of freedom, and the 2D elements have 50 degrees of freedom. So create. Can increase the size. that you can create a load collector if you can apply apply the force on this four nodes now we can assign on one node also as well so go to analysis force i'll choose the four nodes so by applying pressure you can choose uh, one node as a uh, full surface with the value same if you have pressure of uh, 20 newton per meter square so sorry newton meter newton per meter so you can uh, have the uh, same value but force we can divide by four not force uh, like i am using 20 by 4 uh, is pi i am using the pi i can choose the direction y direction z sorry as per this, it is head minus five. If you want to see the magnitude, so you can see this how oh, what is the magnitude of all this. So this is how load collector and the property and material is assigned now create a load step for this one create a load step static everyone static choose the spc in the load constraint choose the spc as constraint uh, load as force after that what type of uh, this you want to do? Static. And if you want to see, uh, choose here output, you can find or else you can go directly use the control card uh, according to what uh, solver. I will choose here only. Uh, if it's different, I won't. I'm using the 
last one is Paulo. So I could be Paulo. Let's try to grab. how you can choose the output here in the load step so we will assign the we will select the what type of constraint it is and what, what the type of load we take for the categories so next after that you have to choose the control curve according to your uh, solver so now i'm using the so mass tram so let us do the type of solution sequences uh, for static it will show 101 for normal mode it will if you want to know more about this one, solo type, you can download the MHD software uh, uh, tutorials and you can learn. Uh, for me, the static uh, analysis solution sequences 101. So come back, choose the param cards where uh, param cards is for I, to, I have explained you earlier that you can use the weight mass conversion here also to so convert convert your weight mass, weight mass conversion so we are already taking care of that one then we will do one we can take one so we post is output minus one output this is the output and if you want to check the weight can go to JRD PNT, grid type is zero, and uh, like you can cross check the weight of the body. Uh, ball out, not ball out. Auto SPC, no. Auto SPC, no. That's all, these are the param cards. So we can, global case control also you can choose, but uh, we have already. So just enable this one, I disable this one. Let's choose the global auto solution second para card. That's all. This is ready for the run. Um, so that you need to open the mass run and run the file. So for that we need to uh, export as a file. Uh, before that, I told you GRD PNT is the tool for checking the mass calculation. You check here. Components are you can use the elements as well. So this is my total mass, 2.4 into power power minus prime. So you can check in the input file of the Nastron the generated. So now after this, you export this file. Finished. Go to 